Next week on May 27th, episodes 21 and 22, Confrontation and Collusion, will be airing from RTS. Plus, on June 3rd, we can expect to see episode 24, Representation, which is our very last episode before this season's finale. With these episodes so quickly approaching, we have received the synopsises for them. So, starting off with Confrontation, it goes, The end of secondary school is approaching and Lila and Chloe have to defend their classmates' future in front of the class council. Marinette is worried. What will be the next evil plan of the two villains? Next up is Collusion, where it goes, the end of the school year is approaching and rebellion is growing. Monarch decides to implement a dangerous plan for his secret identity, but also very precarious for Ladybug and Cat Noir. And lastly, we have Representation, which says, when Adrian disobeyed his father to join Marinette, the latter is forced to find his son. At the same time, Marinette is convinced that Adrian is looking for her, thinking she she will find the boy she loves, she discovers a secret that nothing prepared her for. Now, there is a few things that Marinette can discover when comes time for this episode, so here's what I think they could possibly be. One, she could learn that Adrian is a senti monster. Not only do we know that Gabriel will be looking for him throughout representation and will likely lean to his first resort in using the ring to order him back, but in the episode Adoration, during this scene, there is foreshadowing that Marinette is beginning to become suspicious of Gabriel because of how in an instant Adrian rejected her in this moment and after she looked towards the mansion she could see Gabriel from afar. Number two could be that she puts the pieces together between the alliance rings Gabriel and him being monarch. Not only has she suspected him in the past and more recently in the episode Illusion but during the Kwame's choice for the first time she learns what monarch has done with the miraculouses and that being to turn them into rings and who else just created brand new rings that everyone is using and being akumatized with? Gabriel Agrest. And if it is that Marinette doesn't end up finding out Monarch's identity in this way, another option could be through Lila. Now, let's not forget that Miss Sarugi has especially played a huge role in the creation of the rings, and most of all, helping Gabriel when it comes to advancing his plans and giving him the resources he needs. Because of this all, I have a feeling that we can and expect to see her play a larger role throughout episode 22 because the meaning of collusion has to do with secretive and illegal cooperation. However, there's also a part of me that thinks from this episode onwards might just possibly be the downfall of her and Gabriel's alliance. But as always, what do you guys think? As of right now, we've yet to receive any release date for episode 23, Revolution. However, Winnie has said that the episode is done and Gloop has shared that this Monday on the 20th second, they will be sharing news regarding this season and their break since they do plan on returning next month. This season's end is about to fly by and before we know it, the movie will be premiering on June 11th, available in theaters in certain countries on July 5th and onwards, and lastly making its way over onto Netflix July 28th. If you have a Netflix account and search up Miraculous Ladybug, the movie will actually show up where you can set a reminder for it and even watch the latest trailer that Netflix shared for it. Now, during Geek Fest, Winnie also revealed that there are currently three weeks left for the season 5 finale to be finalized, and even more exciting, before it comes time for season 6, we will get to see two Miraculous specials. Going by the latest piece of info we had gotten for the Miraculous specials, if they intend on going in this order, those two specials that we can expect to see will likely be the One Night Mission and the crossover between Ghost Force and Miraculous. And lastly, speaking about season 6, he also shared that the season will not only be a screenplay, but as well as a visual revival with 3D models expecting to evolve and backgrounds be modified. Can you imagine seeing our main characters in new outfits or with new hairstyles for this upcoming season? Keeping in mind that this is their last year at Francois Dupont, this makes a lot of sense especially since the characters will be getting older and most likely going to a new school. Everything about season 6 sounds so refreshing, especially since we can expect for there to be a new head writer who will be Sebastian. As always, be sure to let me know your thoughts and theories down below and subscribe so you never miss the tea on the show you love. And I'll see you guys in the next one.